Welcome to Amarillo Creek Stables. We are in progress of constructing a brand new stables. Um, my area is kind of a mess down there. So, um, <clears throat> that's new. Very new. Um, that's probably gonna go to my best friend. If it doesn't, it's gonna be the mayor in full stall. Um, so let's start over here. Over here we have our regular mayor in full stall. There, tied up. Um, as you can see, it's Starlight and Comanche, and they are in their own little in full stall <laughs> with their little thing. I rehooked. Indiana is over here. He right now doesn't have anything on his little hook because I haven't put anything on his little hook. <clears throat> his feed box and everything's not in there because. I have just now started to reconstruct it, blah, blah, blah. Um, I just want to say that I have new, um, pipe cleaners. And for some reason, eyeliner. Pipe cleaners mean more little saddles that look sort of like. I made that myself. They don't have stirrups on them because I don't like adding stirrups. Stirrups are annoying. Unless you're riding a real horse, then they're very handy. But yeah. These are my briar saddles. They don't have stirrups on them because I just told you. Yeah. So these are it. I can make more of these. Because I have pipe cleaners. And that's what the base of this is made out of. Except for there's like a popsicle stick. This right here is pipe cleaner, this right here is pipe cleaner, and you can see the little pipe cleaner right there. You know, so, most of this is pipe cleaner too. Ah, uh, yeah. I'm just going to kind of like set that right there or something. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Um, actually, this is my new thing that I'm going to show you. I still have to add cross ties and stuff to it. But, this is going to be like my wash stall, slash tack up stall, slash all that stuff. So yeah, I'm probably going to add like hooks or something right here and right here and maybe right here. Or just leave it. Or do whatever. So yeah. It's my little tack stall. And then as you come over here, because I have all this wide open space. And as you can see, I've been cleaning on my room. Huh. A little bit. My computer kind of died on me. Anywho. We have strawberry velvet and bullet in their normal stalls. Then we come over here and have Winter Bell, which is this one right here, and her foal. Um, her foal is right now really not named. I have not picked out a name for her yet, or him. And right now I'm thinking it's a little, I don't know it's a little boy. Um, I could, I don't know what I'm going to name him yet. But he's, he's a cutie, and I love him. He's very nice. And then of course, over here in the big stall, we switched his stall around so he could put his head out of it. Um, his little thing, this is Big Jack's to Cash. And he is my baby. Love him dearly. As you can see, he's, he's quite gorgeous. Love the horse. Ha. He's gorgeous, I love the horse. And he, ooh, don't fall. Don't hit anything while you're falling, at least. Okay, go back in your stall. I know some of the stalls are a little bit messed up looking. And that one right there, for some reason, likes to come off of its track. I have it set up like this so I can actually take the door off the track if I need it to. But, um, like this one, this one has that track fully on it, so I can't really take the door off. And that one over there does too. But yeah, these stalls are just like that, you know, whatever. Um, over there in my tack room, I do have my tack stand and feed stuff. I'm going to actually make more halters because thanks to some fabulous videos, I made my own way of making rope halters for the horses, which is going to be a lot easier than the uh, traditional um, nylon looking halters and or bridles. I mean, these bridles are fine. But the bridles that I'm going to start using are a lot more 
um, easy to make and they're just like tie knots so so instead of using this sort of material right here and the ropes and such wow I actually have a lot of this I could probably make another one of these buckle halters just for the heck of it um, but instead of using this material I'm actually going to start using thread to make uh, rope halters for my horses and of course we have our little brushes and the classic um, rubber band halters with our lead rope. Um, these are nice little halters. I love using these because they're really easy to just like clip on the horse real quick. Yeah. And this is actually just some ah, there's stuff falling all over the horses. My friend was trying to make bracelets for me out of the thread that I use for my halters and stuff. Because <laughs> she's crazy. Um, I have this stuff and I'm actually making lanyards out of it. So yeah. But that's not the point of this video really. I've, I've tried making halters out of this lanyard rubbery material and it's really hard. And I hate doing it. So I kind of quit trying to make halters out of this stuff. Because it's like impossible. So I'll just either use this right here, and I'm going to start using this right here. So yeah, that's my um, updated tour on all that stuff. So that just lost a leg. I will glue it on later. Anyway, that's my video, so goodbye and have fun. <laughs> Comment and subscribe. Thank you.